up, kinfolk? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step mill. Today, we're going to talk about the nickelback position and why it is the most important position on the defense to me. All that's coming up after the bumper. What do you mean you don't subscribe to my son's YouTube channel? Mama, no! Just snap the damn ball, RJ. The nickelback position is the most important position on the field right now. He needs speed to keep up with smaller receivers. He needs strength to shed blocks and make tackles. And he needs power to blow up plays in the backfield. He can be big. He can be strong. He can be fast. He must be dominant. He needs to have the agility to defend pass plays and the tackling ability to defend the run. He's a big safety or a small linebacker and a shut down corner. Played well, he's the fifth DB in Gary Patterson's 4-2-5 or the fifth DB in Charlie Strong's 3-3-5. And when Mike Stoops feels like it, he's the sixth DB in his 3-2-6. Memphis coach Joe Lee Dunn made the nickel defense popular when he used it to shut down USC's option game. Then when offenses adapted spread formations like the run and shoot, we saw more of five and six DBs on the field to match up with receivers all over the place. And for folks who don't believe that a five DB base is the new norm, all you gotta do is ask Nick Saban about his 3-4 scheme, in which he said as far back as August 20th, 2012, that they only run their base 3-4 scheme 20% of the time because there are at least three wide receivers on the field for most teams that they play. They even have a name for that position on the depth chart at Alabama, and it's called Star. So the question that Sooner fans need to ask is why is Mike Stoops continuing to run his version of the 3-4, which is never a 3-4? Yes, I believe that Mike Stoops would run a 3-4-50 front if there were just two wide receivers on the field. But we play in the Big 12 where you're going to face three, four, and five wide receiver formations 95% of the time. It's the reason why Mike Stoops has 12 positions for 11 players. What he does is substitute the nickelback for the Sam linebacker, the strong side linebacker. But in doing that, he puts three men on the line of scrimmage and sometimes just two with their hand on the ground. Calling those two men with their hand on the ground a defensive tackle and a nose guard, and then trying to use the jack linebacker as a hybrid defensive end linebacker. That's what you see Oboe doing when he's standing up next to a left guard, right guard, left tackle, right tackle. We can't get any pressure that way. That's why I have been pleading with Mike to run a version of Gary Patterson's 4-2-5, which not only makes the defense simpler, but it keeps a Buki Radley Hiles on the field, it keeps a Caleb Kelly on the field, and it keeps a Kenneth Murray on the field without us being subjected to wildcat plays where we're just going to get gashed up the middle because we have nothing to spearhead it. You're begging teams to take us apart by just running isos. That is a peewee football play that we should all be able to defend. And if I know it, and you know it, why continue to run your hybrid version of a 3 2 6. It doesn't work. Food for thought. Alright, that's it for me. If you like the videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. Deuces.